Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video. Now today, as you can see, the shop is empty here at Ace Towing and Recovery, and you guys are probably wondering where all the trucks are. Well, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it, guys. So the Blaine County Sheriff Department just called us out to the freeway. They said they have a 20 vehicle motor vehicle accident, a major incident, guys, involving 20 vehicles from passenger cars semi trucks a bus this is crazy it's about to be one of the biggest recoveries that we have ever done so we already pre-staged all of our trucks and have them ready to roll out and as you can see it is snowing and remember what I said yesterday guys I told you once this snow falls everybody's gonna act like they don't know how to drive and it's just gonna get crazy so as you can see we have all the trucks out and ready to go now I also am gonna need some more trucks because this is about 20 vehicles we're gonna have to transport and recover and I'm not sure how bad it is yet so we are also calling in some backup from our city location as well they're gonna send out two more heavies and a couple more flatbeds so we can get all of these vehicles off the road as soon as possible we get the highway open back up all right nick what we got everybody's ready to go all right cool so since the scene is so close i want you to leave a couple of the trucks here so leave the uh the, the freight line of flatbed and leave those uh, two tow trucks over there, the F550 and the F350. Just leave some of them here, just in case we get any other calls, and then leave the roadside assistance here as well. And uh, once I get there and I check out the scene, I'll call you guys once, you're, once you guys are needed, okay? All right, cool. So he's gonna handle the second wave of tow trucks. I'm gonna go ahead and take the first wave. So as you can see, we got everybody out right there. We got the two freight liners. We have the F350, both the two-door and the four-door. We got the F550 ready to roll. Uh, we got another F350 over there. We got the two Peterbilts out and ready. It's about to be a crazy day, guys. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be crazy. But if you guys do enjoy this episode, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below and subscribe. If you are new, we got the Kenworth Heavy number two ready to go. We also got Heavy number one is ready to go. And then we have Heavy number five, which is our rotator, all ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and roll out, guys, and let's see how bad this accident is. All right, so let's get going now. It is extremely slippery out here, so we are going to have to be a little careful. I'm just going to turn traffic on because they're just going to get in the way anyway. But yeah, like I was saying, it's extremely slippery out here. I did install a mod that makes the snow more realistic as far as traction. So our truck is going to slip and slide and it's, it's going to get crazy. Okay, there they go. Maybe he was slipping and sliding. Like I said, it's, this weather is crazy right now. So all the trucks are rolling out and let's get to the accident scene. All right, so everybody's rolling out. Okay, perfect. So the accident scene we're going to is actually right up here. This is why I'm not gonna bring all my trucks yet since it's so close. Looks like we got some really deep snow here. Alright, so it looks like they have the whole freeway shut down, obviously, because of this accident. Let's just make our way through it. Let's move these cones. Alright guys, so we're arriving on scene here. Looks like the uh, first responders are still working, so we are going to have to wait until the first responders are done. 
but the sheriff department just wanted us to be here and just stand by until they are ready and then we can just start moving in so let's just park the trucks up here and we'll just stand by and wait all right so while we're waiting i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the scene and see if um how bad it is so that we can know how many more trucks we're gonna need but uh yeah right for right now let's just park all the trucks up right here and then we'll just wait until fire and EMS is done. And once the police are done with the investigation, then we can start cleaning this all up. So we're probably going to be out here for up to an hour before we actually start working. But like I said, Sheriff Department, they just wanted us to be here. So that as soon as they're ready, we get the road opened up as soon as possible. So just to give you guys a little update, we've been on scene for about 20 minutes. We haven't been able to touch anything yet. The fire department is still operating and getting everybody out. EMS is still treating and transporting patients. So far, I counted about seven ambulances uh, coming in and leaving. So it's an extremely still active scene. We're just standing by and waiting for the clearance for us to go in. Um, I could report as of right now, this is not a fatal accident. So nobody was killed, thankfully. But um, we're just gonna stand by and see what happens. Now, we are going to definitely need some more trucks right now. You guys can see we have Heavy 5, the Rotator, Heavy 2, the Kenworth, Heavy 1, which is the Peterbilt behind the Rotator. I'm going to also try to get uh, Heavy 3 and 4 out here as well because we have a bus that is lifted up in the air and it's like on top of a, on top of like a 40 foot a uh, gooseneck trailer so we're gonna have to probably lift that up with the rotator and set it down we have a semi truck that rolled over so we're gonna probably need at least two trucks to get that up and tow it out of here and we also have a second semi truck it's not rolled over but a jackknife so we're gonna need another truck to pull that out and get it clear and then we have some trailers and a whole bunch of other stuff so right now i just want to try to get as many pieces of equipment here so we could just move everything out as soon as possible that way we don't have to like use one truck take it to the or that way it will be a lot faster than trying to use uh like just two trucks to do the job of like four to five trucks so we're just gonna bring everything out we have about 12 to 15 passenger vehicles so we're we're going to be busy with all the rollbacks, running them back and forth, and the regular wheel lifts, running them back and forth. Most of them could be transported on a wheel lift, but a couple of them were really mangled up and have to be transported on the flatbed rollbacks. But anyway, we should be able to get to work in about another hour, and then we can start doing this recovery. All right, guys, we are finally able to move in. EMS and fire has just cleared the scene. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and see what we're going to be doing. Now, I think I'm going to put the rotator on this side because one thing I'm noticing, we do have a semi that has to be uh, flipped over. We also have a bus on top of a trailer. So, uh, yeah, we got the whole squad is here. We're about to get to work. All right, let's get to work. Chris, start taking an inventory and see what we have, how many vehicles we have. All right, you guys, start following me. We're going to go ahead and just do a quick look at what's going on so we can make sure we're all working efficiently and working safe and nobody gets hurt. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we have a station wagon. Looks like it's kind of wedged under the semi-trailer. We have a Dakota on top of a sedan. I can't even make make what that is right now make out what it is we got a semi truck this should be able to just get towed out of here so this shouldn't be too bad uh explorer should be able to just grab this right out there's a lot of cars in the middle here too okay what we got here we got a 3500 with a trailer I got a bunch of cars. I got three cars on the inside. Those should be able to just get pulled straight out. This is probably going to be the hardest thing right here. The semi truck that's on its side. Uh, this stuff over here should be relatively easy. We just load it up onto flatbeds and get it out of here. Okay, okay. So 
You guys, let's see, you guys start working over here, bring your trucks around and start loading all of these up. Get these out of here first. I'm going to use a rotator to get this bus up and out so we can get that out of here. And you know what? We're just going to pull these cars out like we're playing Tetris. Just one by one, pull them out. Just got to be careful that as we're pulling one out, we're not making something fall onto anybody else that is here. So we do have to be careful here. All right, guys, so we have a lot of work to do right now. I'm just going to try to get locked in, get focused, and get to work. All right, so the guys are starting with some of the rigging. I'm going to try to get this bust up first. All right, so we're going to see if we can attach to that bus. Now, while I'm waiting for the rest of them to get rigged up, I'm going to go ahead and start getting some of the other vehicles out of here myself since we kind of have to do everything on our own. Um, let's just start grabbing some vehicles and getting them out of here, really. Let's see. Let's jump into some of these first. So I'm going to let the guys drive them all back. Let's see. Let's grab that Dakota. Let's get this one hooked up. Okay, perfect. Damn, this one I got killed. I'm not sure why it's glitching through the bed like that. Alright, one down. Let me grab this next one. For some reason, this winch isn't working properly, so I can't, like, winch it in with that one like I normally do. But it's okay, we'll just use this. see what else I could take with these flatbeds. I do have wheel lips on these. They don't actually work though, but we'll just role play it out.
Alright, so this truck is ready to go to the yard and it has two. Alright, so when you guys can hop in the Peterbilt, get that back to the shop, it's ready to go. Okay, so he's gonna run that. Let me get somebody to take the F-350. Alright, first two out of here. About 18 more vehicles and vehicles to go. Alright, why don't you guys take this F-350, drop it off at the shop, and come right back. Thank you. So he's gonna take that one. Alright, perfect. So let me use this to grab another vehicle so we can get two out of here at once. All right, this truck's ready. You could take it back. All right, so they're gonna take that and get out of here. Let me see what else we could work on in the meantime. They should be done with that uh, that bus over there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting that flipped over. Let's see, let's see what else we have here right now. We still got the heavies waiting. Alright, let me use this truck real quick. Right, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think we're just gonna clear out this whole section. I'm just gonna lift and drop these vehicles over there and then I'll let my guys load them up. So we're just gonna temporarily just drop them right here. Alright, let's see, I think I could get that blue one out. Yeah, it's not winching in all the way for some reason, so we'll just kind of drag it and get our wheel lift under lift. Okay, we'll set that back down. I think I could grab these. See how first person looks. I don't know, I can't even see back there.
Alright, so let's switch trucks. I'm gonna use the freight line a little bit to pull out some of the other vehicles. Alright, so we're making great progress so far. Let's see if I could just get this thing to flip over for us. Perfect. All right, guys, so we got the last couple of vehicles rolling out. Had to get one of the F-550s to come from the city, but we finally have all of the main vehicles out. So we're making progress. So all that's left to do is get all of these heavies out of here. So we have also heavy number three just came in from the city as well. Heavy three is gonna tow the Kenworth and the dock trailer for us. So let me just go ahead and get it connected. Okay, now the trailer on this one wasn't really damaged at all, so we're not gonna worry about putting it on a land all. We're just gonna be able to transport it right out of here. Alright, so this one is ready to go. I'll get one of my guys to grab it. Alright, the next thing we're going to try to do is get the rotator and get this bus off of this trailer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to try to get that attached to the bus.
All right, we got the bus in the air, and we got it off of the trailer. I'm just trying to gently set it down now. And looks good. All right, perfect. So we could put the arm back in now. What I'm going to use this Kenworth Heavy number two to go ahead and tow it out of here now. So that bus is ready to be moved. I'm going to put the rotator over onto this side now so we get that semi truck up. Alright, so last thing we gotta do is get that semi truck up. I'm gonna actually go ahead and disconnect this truck from the trailer here so we could tow them separately. Alright, and we're gonna use this F350 to get this 3500 out of here. Damn, how heavy is this truck? Struggling to lift this. All right, we may have to get something else to get this out of here, but. Damn, that flatbed is extremely heavy for some reason. All right, so that's ready to go. Uh, we're gonna get this trailer out of here as well. All right, so all of those are ready to go. Let's get this bus out of here as well. We are almost done guys. So these three trucks are all ready to roll out. They're gonna take these up to the shop, drop all of these vehicles off. So we got the bus heading out with the Kenworth. And then we have the Kenworth T440, which is also hauling a T440, that's kind of funny. And the dock trailer, those are heading out. And the Freightliner is taking the big techs out of here. 
I am perfect. We're looking good, guys. We are looking good. All right. Last but not least, all we have to do is get this semi truck flipped over. It's going to be a little difficult. It's going to want to slide since it's sitting on snow and ice, but we're just going to try our best and get this thing over. I would have liked to have another truck here, but I just want to get the road open, so we're just going to do what we have to do. Okay, rigging is done. We have all the trucks in position, and I actually have good news. We actually have heavy number four is here as well, guys. So this is actually the first time we had all five of our heavy rescues on the same scene. So heavy four just came in from the city as well. It's just going to kind of help lift from this side and also help act as a counterweight so as this thing is flipping over it's not going to land too hard this is just going to help kind of hold it in place as we flip it and again the main concern is it's going to probably slide a lot since it's on that snow and ice so it is now time we have heavy one heavy five and heavy four let's get this thing flipped over guys also have all of my guys watching we have one person running that truck this guy's watching this side i'm gonna be watching from over here uh he's running that truck and we have another spotter over there watching so everything looks good guys let's get this thing flipped over and there it is guys we finally got it over all right let's uh Get everything unrigged and let's get this last thing out of here. It doesn't look too badly damaged, honestly, so I think we're going to be able to pull it as one piece. Yep, it's looking good. So let's go ahead and get everything uh, detached from it, get all the chains up, and then we'll go ahead and tow this one out of there. we are finally done guys the road is open well the road is clear the sheriff department is about to open it once we uh, clear out they're gonna get some plows to go through and clear up some of this snow because it has piled up while we were out here it did take us a couple of hours to get this all cleaned up but we are finally done i'm gonna let one of the other guys take the rotator back to the shop and we're gonna drive heavy number one and uh, number four is going to follow us as well because we're not going to be able to make this first turn here. So we're going to actually go up to the next exit and make the left turn there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. This definitely was a crazy one. And again, this was like the first time we had to use every single heavy truck that we had. It was crazy. If you made it to the end, let me know by leaving a comment section so I can give you a special shout out. And thank you for watching all the way. And also, how much money do you guys think this is going to cost? Like, obviously not cost us because we're getting paid for the recovery. But how much money do you guys think we're going to make on this recovery? Because we did a lot of work today, guys. We did a lot of work. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and tow this back to the shop. I know some of you guys like to see that. Damn, these people really need to slow down. Look at that. Another 
call up is starting. Well, you guys already know, towing is a 24 hour job. Looks like we have another job to do. <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna get this truck back to the shop. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm sorry, it's been a long day, guys. <laughs> It's funny how there's no snow in our mirrors. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the shop. This was an extremely long episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you did, please hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if you made it to the end. 
And again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.